Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Jolliver. Today I'm going to be doing a Halloween look for you. One of my colleagues at work is going to an Alice in Wonderland party and I thought that I would do a Cheshire Cat tutorial. Um, I live in Chester and so I thought it would be really appropriate to do it and I know that although in the UK we do a lot of kind of scary Halloween looks um, I know a lot of you guys in America and in other countries don't always go for the really scary looks for Halloween so I thought I'd do something a little bit different, something a bit more wearable but still very on theme for the Disney's Cheshire Cat so let's get started First of all, I'm going to use the Talika Photo Hydra Day Moisturiser. I'm just going to apply a thin layer of that all over my face. This moisturiser is quite um, like a gel-like consistency, which I really like. It's definitely not a cream. It just feels really cooling and soothing. Once I've done that, I'm going to take some sellotape and I'm going to take a small piece and I'm just going to place it on the back of my hand and peel it off again and then I'm going to place that along my eye line so I want to create a cat like shape so I'm just going to use this to create the flick so I just want to angle it up from the lower lash line um, up to the point of the eyebrow like that and then just do the same on the other side on the back of the hand stick it down and peel it back off just make sure they're even so once that's all in place, we're going to take a MAC 217 and the Maybelline Colour 24 Hour Tattoo Eyeshadows. And this one is in the colour Metallic Pomegranate. And we're just going to run that all across the eyelid as a base. So once we've got that on, I'm going to take my Sleek Original Palette and I'm going to use this colour here. It's like a really bright electric purple. And I'm just going to take that on a MAC 239 brush. Um, it's just a short, um, stiff, flat brush. Pack that product on, tap off the excess and I'm just going to run that all over the eyelid. Just on the mobile lid area. And you will get fall down from these, which is why we've not done our foundation yet so just pack that all over make sure you're really getting down into the lash line as well and the other eye oh got a bit high there that's okay Again, this doesn't have to be too neat at this stage. Then we're just going to take our blending brush. You can use the same one you used to apply the Maybelline um, base. I'm just going to give that a bit of a blend and make and um, wing it along this tape line. Once that's blended as you'd like, next I'm going to take a pink colour and this is the Barry M Dazzle Dust and it's this really bright pink. A little bit of this goes a really long way so you don't need loads. So I'm just going to take what's on the lid and the same MAC 217, run that in the lid and tap off the excess and I'm just going to run that just above where we've applied that purple. Taking that right in here into the inner corner. Look 
going to take a tiny bit more product, tap it all off in the lid. We just want to get that pink vibrancy, blend that into the purple. Going to run some excess from that brush just on the inner corner as well. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, and this is the MAC 224, just something that's really soft and fluffy. And you want to take a clean brush and just run that along the top edge of that pink, just to make sure that's nice and blended. And same on the other side. Once that's done, we're going to line the top lid and we're using Smolder by MAC today, just a dark black liner. And I'm just gonna take that all the way along the top of the eyelid, right next to the roots of your lashes. Again, don't worry about this being too clean at this stage um, because we are going to go over it with liquid liner. Just run that up the side of your tape, same on the other side, make sure you're really getting into the roots so we don't see any skin. And then I'm going to take my flat stiff brush again and just smudge that along into the purple. I'm also going to take some of this liner and just run it along the top inside lash line. Once that's done, I'm going to apply some glitter and I have the front cover purple sparkle glitter here. This is a holographic glitter in periwinkle and I've also got the front cover pigment powder in Moon Dance. I'm probably going to do a mixture of the two of these. So on the same stiff brush from MAC, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Moon Dance pigment first and just press that all over the lid. And I'm going to go back in with my MAC 217 and just give that a bit of a blend back into the pink. And then I'm going to take some of the periwinkle glitter and just press that onto the centre of my lids. This just gives it a really lovely party sparkle. Next, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and this is in Trooper. This is a black colour. And I'm just going to do a cat eye liner using my tape as a guideline just to pull out and wing across to the centre of the eye. You just want to start this um, just above the purple. Open your eye and step back and take a look and then I carry on and finish it with the eye open.
Once you're happy with the shape, go on to the second eye and match them up. Once you're happy, you've got both eyes how you'd like them. I'm just going to clean up under the eye before I remove the tape. I'm then going to remove the tape and we can finish off joining the lower lash line up to the makeup above. Just really carefully peel this away. And you're left with that really crisp line. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start my base makeup and get my foundation and concealer done. And then I'm going to finish off the eye makeup. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and some MAC Fix Plus Spray and just give that a bit of a spritz just to dampen it. And then I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Photo Edition Silk Cream Oil Free Foundation. This is really good for parties um, or special occasions because there's no SPF in it so you don't get any flashback. And I'm just going to work that all over the face. Next I'm going to conceal and this is the Clarins Instant Concealer in 01 and I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Just going to pop a little bit of that under the eye. You don't need a lot of this. A little goes a long way. And just take my brush and start to blend that in. Take it around the nose. And any extra areas you need more coverage. I really love this concealer. It blends so easily. And it just really lifts the skin. Next I'm just going to take some of the pink Dazzle Dust from Barry M on the MAC 217 and just run that under my eyes. Next I'm going to take some of MAC Smolder and run that all along my lashes and in the waterline as well. Take that right into the inner corner and join it up at the outer edge. Next I'm going to take Vial Violet from MAC. This is part of their Disney Villains collection. I don't know if it's a colour you can get all the time or whether it was limited edition. And it's just this dark purple with a very small sparkle. And I'm just going to take that on my MAC 239 and just run that all along the lower black line that we just did and smudge it all in. Next I'm going to take a tiny bit more of the Moon Dance pigment and just push that into the inner corner. And just give that a blend with my 217. Next I'm going to do some contour and I'm going to use the Havana blush from Benefit and I'm just going to take the darker colours just to put some contour through my cheekbones and around the hairline and I'm using the Real Techniques, this is the contour brush. Don't forget this is the Cheshire Cat look so we want to keep all the tones purple and pink.
This brush is the perfect size for getting into those cheekbones. I might put a bit of dazzle dust in there as well. This dazzle dust actually doesn't have any sparkle, it's, it's completely matte. I've just taken the same contour through the hairline and through the temples as well, all around here. Next, I'm going to take the Zara Shiny Cheek Pink Blush and I'm just going to pop this across the top of the cheekbones. This is super sparkly, so a little bit goes a long way again and I'm using the same contour brush from Real Techniques. Next I'm going to move on to the brows and for this I'm going to use the front cover purple pencil and I'm just going to start running this through my brows. I have quite thick brows so this is going to be just to give them the base colour of the purple. Next I'm going to do the lips. I'm using this Sephora Purple Lip Cream. I'm just going to apply that all over the lip. I'm just taking the Havana blush all over the cheek and I'm going to contour more with the Dazzle Dust. I just think it brings it all together more. Okay, so off camera I've just put a little bit of pink lipstick in the centre of my lips. I've used the Revlon Cherish um, Kissable Lip Balm Sticks and I've drawn a little cat nose on with the same tattoo liner and filled it in with the purple lipstick. So next I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using the Shuamura eyelash curlers. Say hello to Sherlock in the background. He's <laughs> come to say hi. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to apply mascara and I'm using the Benefit They're Real in Black. Do you like your makeup doing? Hmm? Next I'm going to apply some lashes and to accentuate that cat I feel I'm going to use some corner lashes and I'm using the Fleur de Force Fleur Loves three quarter length lashes. I'm going to use some duo lash glue and this is in the darker colour and I'm just going to run a bit of that glue all the way along the band of the lash, just a really small amount and then wait for that to dry for 30 seconds. Once the glue's tacky, apply it to your lashes. These are so easy because they shouldn't really need trimming because they're quite short anyway. Next I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush again and I'm just going to use this light um, colour here from MAC. I can't remember the colour of it I'm afraid but it's just, it might be, it's like a bone colour um, but it's just a really matte tone. I'm just going to run that along the brows here. Now 
Next, I'm gonna take a Real Technique setting brush and Laura Mercier pressed powder. This is in um, translucent. I'm just going to run that all under the eye and through the T-zone. Obviously avoid the tip of the nose. And across the chin. The last thing I'm going to do is add some whiskers and I'm going to use the Kat Von D tattoo liner again. So I'm just going to put some dots and three flicks on each side. So there is the finished look. I've paired it with these really cute sparkly cat ears. These were one pound from Claire's, so they just clip in. Um, you could pair this with a wig if you wanted to, but I liked um, quite keeping it simple. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this look, everyone. You could definitely switch it up and make the look more witchy. You could put some um, cobweb lashes on, obviously take off the whiskers and the nose. You could definitely make this more of a witchy look if you wanted to, but I really like it. I like it. It's a bit of fun um, and it's definitely wearable and it's not so, um, you haven't got to put all the fake blood all over yourself if you don't want to. Really hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what your th thoughts and feedback are in the comments section below and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.